Welcome to our video on SSL certificates for key clock in development mode presented by Mohammed Niaz from IT Pro Guide. In this video we will dive into the steps of uh, configuring an SSL certificate in key clock. SSL uh, certificate is not a default requirement for a key clock especially in a development mode. But the procedure is to uh, set up an SSL certificate in production mode or development mode is same. So let's practice a bit early. So why it is important to assign an SSL certificate to a key clock? Assigning an SSL certificate uh, to any application, any communication, the basic intention is security. So with the key clock, the data in transits are encrypted. So the data transmitted between the client browser and the servers are encrypted. The data transfer from a client PC or client browser can only be read uh, by a, a by the uh, server which have the private key of that SSL certificate. That is how the uh, SSL uh, works. So with HTTPS, we have encrypted data transfer between the browser or the application to key clock. It is very essential for securing the authentication and authorization processes because we send usernames and passwords, we send uh, tokens. So it is very, very important when it comes to key clock. And that it also ensures that the data integrity of the data transmitted. So this prevents the attackers from tampering uh, the data in transit, such as altering the request or injecting the malicious content. So HTTP is, is plain text, so it doesn't provide uh, security, but it is okay to use in development mode or testing mode. But coming to the production mode, SSL certificate is very well advised. The first step is to create a certificate. So I prefer to start in a very simple way. So instead of going to Godaddy or buying a certificate, let's do a very simple basic option that is to create a self-signed certificate so this means the certificate is signed by itself so you can generate the certificate from the piece itself no need to uh, take the csr into a godaddy and get signed and uh, uh, import it back but it is not advisable for the production environment but it's still fine for the development or testing purpose so the first step is to generate a private key then uh, we're going to generate a self-signed certificate. Let's log into the server. Then I'm going to clear the terminal. Then run the command to generate a private key. So we are going to use open SSL, uh, generate private key, then provide the algorithm, it's RSA, then uh, hyphen out where you can uh, provide the file name, then the private key option, there is RSA key generation bit uh, 2048. There is a small option I missed that is out. So before the file name, I have to give the parameter uh, minus out the option. Yeah. So hyphen out, then this is gonna work. So now this is gonna generate a private key. The next step is to generate the certificate. For generation of the certificate also we're gonna use the say open SSL uh, commands so once you complete the open SSL command for the certificate you will get a key clock dot local dot key and also uh, key clock dot local dot cert so two files will be there one will hold the certificate the public key and the file we generated in the previous uh, command will hold the private key. Now once you run the command you will see the file and the local drive. Now we have two options to connect the SSL certificate to our key clock. Either we can use the certificate.crt and .key uh, files directly 
or we can convert the certificates generated uh, by the previous commands into PKCS12 format. So this is a format which hold the private key and public key as a single uh, certificate. The private key will be protected using a password. So we have an option in the OpenSSL to export these certificates as a P12 or PKCS12 format. And when you run this command, it's going to ask you to enter a password. So this password is to protect the uh, private key. So this will be uh, easy to handle uh, the certificate in PKCS12 uh, format as it is protected by a password. You can hand over this certificate to some other servers also. So let's run the OpenSSL PKCS12 export command. Option export. Then in files as key clock local.crt. This is the uh, certificate which hold the public key. Then private key with the option in key. Then you provide the uh, key clock dot local dot key. Then the name of the uh, certificate and the output uh, file name. So once you're done with all the options click enter then you get a certificate in the same local drive format ends with pkcs uh, p12 yeah p12 yeah so you can see that it asks for a password you enter it two times uh, including the verifying now you have an option key clock dot local dot p12 in the local drive so we're going to use this format for our uh, key clock ssl certificate connecting the next step is to configure key clock to use this SSL certificate. So as we're going to use the development mode, we start with sudo.kc.sh, the, the script that we need to run. Then we give the option start dev. Then after that, we provide the port name, then the certificate file. Then the key store password is the password that we entered while exporting the certificate into PKCS12 format. Then the certificate type PKCS12, yes. Then host name strict. So if you make it false, then you still have an option to uh, browse the key clock from the IP address. And host name strict HTTPS is equal to false, which means you have both options HTTPS and HTTP also. Then host name I provide it as key clock dot local. So the local host or the IP address of this machine, I can add it into the host file and. Uh, try to browse like that yeah now i copy paste all the commands to start the key clock with the ssl certificate so we have the command ready um, you can remove the proxy edge option from your command line then you click enter this is going to start the key clock in development mode with the ssl certificate and you can see that listening on http 8080 and also https 8443 so key clock is listening on both the port the service is available on both the ports so if you try to browse the key clock you will see uh, https is working the certificate is not trusted of course it's a self-signed certificate but you can check the certificate it is key clock dot local and all the parameters that we provided while generating the certificates up there so we got the administration console at this moment. If you want to access with the kclock.local domain, then it's easy. Edit your uh, host's file, then enter the IP address of the kclock server running. Then instead of browsing through the IP address, you can browse over the HTTPS. So you, here you can see I use kclock.local 8443, which is the domain name or the host name I assigned for my service then I'm going to log in with the username and password that we created. So this is how you can assign an SSL certificate. Now both the options are available, the HTTP and HTTPS. Both uh, ports are active for the key clock server. So thank you for joining in this video and let's move on to the next video.